Hi folks, Roach here. I haven't done a video in a while, and I wanted to let you know why. Uh, I stopped my medicine show series uh, uh, some time ago. Uh, I wanted to finish a, a video on contract, but I, no matter what happened, I, I just couldn't force myself to do it. And, I, and this whole time, I've been trying to figure this out. Now, yeah, I apologize for the quality. Uh, you know, if you don't have a whole lot, you know, that's what you get. So uh, hopefully you can struggle through this, and uh, hopefully it'll be useful to you. But uh, quite frankly, I've done a lot of thinking about what it is that you know I'm supposed to be doing here, and uh, come to some conclusions. And I wanted to share those with you so that you understood um, where I'm at right now, and uh, you know what what is actually happening, and um, you know the particular obstacles that I've been beating myself over the head or beating my uh, head against the wall over um, with, you know, no motion. So, you know, I'm in this position where apparently I, I, you know, like everybody else, you know, you get an obstacle and, you know, you try to figure it out. Well, this is one that's been around for quite a while and it lies at the heart of, you know, everything that, you know, I effort towards and, and do and, you know, what I thought, uh, you know, my function was and I made a mistake. You know, obviously I made a mistake. Um, and it was after the death threats. I mean, you know, get this, right? I, I got these guys with, you know, chalupas in their head uh, give me death threats. Uh, and, and really, it, it's not a chalupa. It's it's what you call a tulpa. And what well, what these are, allegedly, these are um, these mental constructs. You know, they're sentient constructs in your mind that you create. And uh, apparently, you can you know uh, empower them and uh, make them stronger and stronger and stronger, such that they'll uh, you know kick the shit out of people uh, you know like in the real life. You know, when when you're throwing a fit. Uh, so they they decided that they were going to kill me, and I'm, these guys are looking for this this guy, Subject X. You know, I mean, it's the same nonsense. You know, it's, it's some sort of conquering messiah for them. You know, the guy that's going to have all the answers for them, and you know, make everything right. And, you know, get rid of all them stupid people around you. You know, that are confused and and you know, not worth it. You know, I mean, it's the same stuff. You know, so so these guys with tulpas, and they and they've got these. Uh, They've got these subliminal, uh, you know, uh, videos with, you know, sound in there that, you know, uh, you know, go in and, you know, change you and, and allow you to be able to create these, these, uh, these tulpas, you know. So th these guys threaten to kill me. And, and really, I, I'm not afraid of, you know, these guys or, you know, what they can do. And, you know, if they want to kill me and come on down. Um, you know, see how that works for you. Um, but it, it, it did cause me to think, it's just, you know, if the Twinkies out there, if it's so bad that people have to threaten me uh, simply because I'm teaching the law, then, you know, maybe there's a clue there, you know? <laughs> maybe there's something I'm just not uh, not learning. Uh, so I... I I haven't continued on it, and, I, and you know, it, it was just the other day I was really thinking about this, um, and it's, and this is the conclusion that I found out. When I found the application of law that, that actually allows somebody to, to reveal the, the, you know, divine grace and protection in in their lives, which you know, technically, you know, in some forms, is that 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 holy grail that people are looking for. When I found that information, and you know, I realized that that it was a function of the law, and that you know, somebody who is applying you know natural law in in, in the correct way, uh, that is the key to actually you know its revelation. Um, so I thought that it was my function to uh, teach people the law. Um, and that's when the beat in my head against the wall actually started. Um, first, it, it took me two years before I even found somebody, uh, or they found me, uh, 
that actually knew enough uh, about what it was that I was doing to, uh, uh, you know, wh- where I could say, hey, wait a minute, you know, he- here here's another guy that a- actually has figured this stuff out, that knows about enough about what I'm talking about with respect to just the law. Um, um, that you know that actually appreciates what it is that I'm I'm saying, and you know he he, he lived out in Arizona, and he says you know hey, uh, I've been doing. He he told me he says I've been doing this for seventy years. Uh, I says these guys just can't listen. They they can't listen. Uh, I mean, and you know I appreciated him. I thanked him, and you know he he thought that the stuff that was on my website was just right on, and you know that's back when I had the website. Um, in a, in a different form, you know. So you know, I really put a lot of effort into it. I put a lot of time into it. I put a lot of work into it, and and you know, for very little returns. I mean, the amount of energy that I put into it, uh, I mean, really didn't real yield the kind of results. I mean, you know, here it was. You know, I had this wonderful thing that occurred to me, and this wonderful gift, and and yeah, well, you know, if I really struggled and moved mountains once in a great while, somebody would snap on it figure it out yeah uh, it's too much trouble it's too much work um, so you know in one you know it, it took me the longest time just to figure out why people couldn't couldn't get the information and and you know I finally figured out it was fear you know so then you know I modified my process so that uh, uh, you know first thing I would do is you know try to you know provide a mental or a model construct for people's you know existence in reality such that it provides you know uh, an insulation a bear uh, you know a, a safe place where they can actually explore things without you know freaking out um, yeah, and, and being terrified because it, it's basically fear that keeps people, you know, from from getting the information that they need and, and, and making this kind of transition. So I started really studying, you know, techniques and in ways that I could actually, uh, you know, relate this information such that, you know, first, uh, you know, I have to remove the fear, you know, and once the fear, once that people have a, a, a good model of the universe. Uh, that's safe for them to exist and then they can start onboarding you know some of the more complex elements like 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 the law you know not like it's really complex I mean the amount of law that you need to do this is is (laughs) it's nothing that is you know once you're in a position to actually receive it and 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 bringing those people to that place um, that's where all the energy was uh, in order to do that, you have to provide an enormous amount of context just so you could get people to actually just simply entertain some of the notions. You know, say nothing of actually accepting what it is they say. I mean, you know, I, I mean, if, if, if they simply accept it, then of course the universe has no trouble uh, demonstrating to them the the, the truth of uh, of you know the the principles that I'm relating but that takes a lot of energy and you know it's it, I mean it's like babysitting I, I mean it's like babysitting so you know here I was I mean yeah, I could bring people through the process uh, originally I mean uh, originally I, I mean it, it, it would take years I mean I, I, I've been on the phone with certain people for years uh, you know sessions that are five six seven hours at a time on the phone day after day after day after day and finally they put the pieces together and it's like and then I don't hear from them again you know they come back they check in once in a while hey man everything's great everything I don't know everything's great with you man you know thank you know, I, I, you know, I really appreciate what you did and all all this other stuff and it was like oh okay that's, that's great you know all the while you know here I am crawling around on this rock you know with nothing um, you know, not that I, not that I expect anybody to, to, I mean, this stuff, this information, this is free, okay, there's, there's no charging for this, I mean, this is, <laughs> you know, there, there's no exploit, exploitation here, I mean, this is, this is merely me trying to improve my own environment by helping others around uh, me uh, in, in enjoy the kind of security, protection, safety, and, and, and logic and sanity um, that this life 
really can provide, this life experience can provide. That, that's all it is. Because if I have a bunch of people around me that you know are awake, are aware, are conscious, um, that understand the law, are responsible, uh, apply that law, then then I'm in an environment that, that that's truly rewarding, successful, and happy. Um, and you know, otherwise, you know, you you got the hell thing going on, you know, and, that, and that's where most people are, you know, bouncing around like pinballs, uh, you know, can't figure out what's going on, you know, beating themselves in the face with a hammer, and and not, you know, not understanding why everything hurts and why everything seems so crazy and everything seems so wrong, and and, and not really understand why it's so crazy and why it's so wrong, um, so. That was it. I mean, I I, I couldn't. I, 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 it, it's just too much work to bring people to the law. Um, but there's where my error was. Um, I thought that, oh, okay, um, you know, I I did this through an understanding of the law. That that that's how that's how the, the Holy Grail is revealed to you. And I thought, well, hey, I, I was supposed to teach that, but that's not my function. My function is once you know the law sufficiently to where we can work together to apply it in a particular uh, a way, um, diligently, um, correctly, um, then one can actually use that law to, to uh, allow the Holy Grail to be revealed to them. And, 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 and that's the crux of it. I'm no good at teaching the law. Obviously, I'm going to leave the videos up there um, because I, I think it's a great uh, reminder of exactly how poor uh, that was and how bad that was. And so people can understand. That's not to say that some of you can't actually get valuable information out of there because it's not just a it, 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 what's valuable in the videos is, is not just statements of law. Um, it, it's actually seeing it in application. That that and, and there is that, and then there's other elements in there that really have resonated with people and, and and really have transformed lives. I mean, through one sitting of one video, and wow, every everything in their paradigm is completely different. So that's where I'm at. I've decided that. Wow, let's uh, let me leverage what I'm good at. I'll, I'll, I'll focus on what it is that I'm good at. I know how that works. Uh, and then I'll allow the others who are quite much more skilled at, at doing uh, teaching the law to actually do that. And, and you know, for instance, there, there, there's a guy, Mark Passio. Um, you, you seek him out. Uh, this guy, he is, I, I mean, his videos are, are you know, well done. Um, they are... Uh, to the point, they're completely accurate with respect to the law. Uh, he is accurate with a whole host of application of the law, but of course, you know, there's still this fighting evil thing, and it's still wearing the the victim suit thing. But he is able to uh, 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 to teach the law. Another one, another guy that I found is actually very good at it is uh, a gentleman by the name of Barry Smith. Um, if if you want, you know, and, and, and it just depends on it just depends on you know how you want to do that. I, I don't know. For me, you know, there are people that are that are pretty good with you know biblical scripture, and, and it's really helpful for people who come from a, a more traditional, devoutly religious uh, environment. Uh, you know, to to listen to to what Barry says and 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 appreciate it. But I don't know. I don't really think that there's a whole lot of people out there that can really top Barry with respect to the correct interpretation of Scripture because he really drills it. I mean, he goes down to the original meaning of the Hebrew words and extrapolates it. And, and quite frankly, you know, for for this this you know being. Um, this this supreme the supreme authority in the universe or a creator of the universe and I'm not going to use the G word Barry mind you uh, and I know you know how you how, what, what you think about that and and, and you're right there uh, but this being this this omnipotent 
absolutely, you know, limitless being that exists in eternity. Uh, Barry was the only one that knew uh, the name of this being. Only one out there that I, I asked the being, and it, it actually revealed it to me. Uh, and, and, and Barry, when I talked to him, he, he knew, and I said, wow, how, you know, so then, you know, I, I, I started picking up on some of the stuff and, you know, I looked at what he does and, you know, he, he does a lot of stuff through Facebook and he, he's got a lot of stuff out there and, and he is definitely a nice guy. Um, he's not going to cut you any slack, however, um, <laughs> he lives in a strict uh, uh, liability uh, universe just as I do and um, he doesn't play games and he expects you to be responsible and he expects you to pay attention yeah, you know, I do too but you know I, I got a whole different way of doing that however Mark Passio uh, from the other side of it um, you know he he works um, you know he, he, he works within you know a, a more uh, constitutional uh, framework um, you know, uh, w with respect to law and govern, uh, you know, uh, governance uh, as it relates to law, uh, he does he, he does dabble a bit in in, in fiction, uh, which is you know procedure, uh, but for the most part, uh, what he says is 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 right. Um, I believe that he is quite aware. Uh, he is an evolved being, and you know, through the proper application of the law that he teaches, I'm sure he could realize divine grace in his life also, if he isn't already in that place. Um, so, you know, seek, if you want to learn the law, seek those guys out. Uh, go ahead. They're real good at it. You will get it. Um, you know, and once you, once you get a good working knowledge of the law and I'll, I'll give you the prerequisites so, you know if you want to come talk to me I'll tell you what right uh, no contract law right know what responsibility and accountability are and be that man true responsibility okay contract law is really important uh, you know some of the other basic principles in law you, you need to understand uh, because as soon as you come up to me first thing I'm going to do is test you if you don't know the law okay uh, you know I'm not going to say hey you know hit the road uh, but I'm going to I'm going to see if if you are someone that uh, that um, um, is capable uh, of getting it I mean there's a lot of people that just are missing a few pieces and I'll be happy to give you those those few little pieces right um, but I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you of the the rightness, correctness, and efficacy of principles of natural law that have already been well established in precedent throughout human history without fail, flawlessly. That's not me. I'm not going to let you just bounce bounce around here and, and you know, I, I don't have that time. I don't have that resource. I mean, I don't know. Some of you, you know, might notice differences in me. Uh, but shoot, I've lost 30 pounds since the last video. Um, I, I, you know, don't freak out. Uh, I, I eat a meal a day, uh, you know, and generally I eat enough to where I'm full. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's been a sacrifice. Um, Ileana and I, I mean, we, uh, we just make it all right. And, and, you know, and, and if there are people that want to help, I mean, really want to help, uh, I mean, and, and, and there are some dear people out here that, that actually contributed on the website and actually, but it, it, it it's not, it, it's not federal reserve notes that I need. It's not money that I need what I need is people to actually start being responsible that's what I need that will solve all my problems if I can walk down the street and find 12 people that are that know the law are responsible if I could have three people that, that truly understand the Holy Grail in my proximity then then I don't have any obstacles okay and, and, and that's what I truly need you know it, 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 it but that's not to say that I don't appreciate the the contributions that, that, that dear people have given me. 
okay I mean th these are people that were able to navigate the confusing material that I provided uh, apply the law and, and actually transform their experience and, and and when they do that the first thing they do the happiness that comes from that the first thing they want to do is, is thank me when really it wasn't me that did it they 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 were but that they feel that, that there were keys that I was able to provide to them that that gave them the ability to actually transcend this gobbledygook that you know and and sort through that 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 stuff in their head to where they could they could actually change change their perceptions such that their lives are no longer this 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 suffering and drudgery so that's where i'm at okay and the other thing i noticed too is you know i'm on the phone for years and years with people and and finally oh my god finally they get it and then i i i had a particular example with one guy i mean we dealt for probably two years on the phone and i i just just couldn't get it just couldn't he just couldn't go there so he came to visit me in less than 20 minutes that was it he solved that piece that key and you know quite frankly then you, you, and it's something that i realized that you know most of the most of the the means by which you know that that fundamental divine grace and protection you know key is is transmitted is actually uh physical um where where it it's really important proximity is actually really important it's not to say i can't do it on the phone i i mean through text uh <laughs> it's almost impossible uh the, the spoken language that you use it, it is very limited in our uh, it limits us in our capacity to actually relate that truth uh, whereas on the phone there's enough of the sound there's enough of the intonation that people can pick up on some of the nonverbal clues and and make that transition that's not to say that 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 that's the most efficient way of doing it uh, it takes a long time and 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 uh, you know I really worked on uh, on the process and the information and you know I got to sit there and intuit uh, where these people are at just simply by the us and the pauses in the conversation because I don't have any other feedback it's just much more nicer for me to to be able to have that that man or woman in front of me uh, where where I can truly truly feel where they're at or and intuit where they're at uh, because then at, w at which point that which I say will actually hit them exactly where they're at and that's the key um, and, and if you want a metaphor for that, it, it, it's like one candle lighting another candle, okay? Um, and that gets a little hard when you're on the phone with somebody uh, who's on the other side of the planet. That doesn't work very well. That's not to say that there isn't enough, there isn't enough communication such that they can light their own candle or get a little, get a little uh, uh, you know, glow going at the end and blow on it and get it started themselves but man that takes a lot longer it's a lot easier there's a waveform there's a bubble around you when 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 you're conscious and what happens is people bring their own personal universe into your space into your personal universe and the vibration within your universe starts setting their their universe in motion and then when they leave they can see the difference to the point where they can actually maintain that uh, that black goes I it's got the screensaver going and you know if I don't move the mouse and it gets dark so don't freak out uh, so but that proximity is important I have at times seen people get the key in less than three hours and that's from actually teaching them the law to actually teaching them in application if I have somebody that actually knows the law has a good enough working um, uh, knowledge of the law um, that could be done in, in less than an hour um, easily because what I'm talking about is not very hard um, you know I've had friends we sat down and we've talked for five days straight morning uh, uh, from the morning all the way to uh, you know to 12 o'clock at night for five days straight and it was the first day you know the first few hours where we talked that the that the uh, 
you know uh, th that this particular uh, uh, man was able to get the information and the, the rest of the time you know the the you know four and you know seven eight days le uh, left is it we just simply talked about his life and, and the application of the that new key that he got I mean you know and it's and and how it actually changed every aspect of his life because you know I'm really interested in seeing the effect uh, 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 of divine grace and protection in, in somebody's life experience because I mean it's just wonderful to see I mean you you watch people that are just sort of struggling and then all of a sudden wow this enormous weight's lifted off them and I mean and it's it's marvelous it's beautiful I mean and, and it's and it's fun I mean I love to watch that I mean it just makes life you know just seeing that one time makes my entire existence worth it it, it makes all the struggle worth it I mean you know everything and and, and Look, folks, I mean, I, I, I've given a lot of treasure away. I mean, I have given it all. Um, uh, the fact that I'm even having this conversation is, it, it, look, I, I mean, I've I've come against, you know, the, the behemoth, you know, the, the federal government in the United States, you know. You know, and, but I can, I, I, I can count on both hands the number of people that actually realized what happened in that situation. Even though, I mean, I did a play-by-play -play of videos. I mean, I got like 80 videos out on uh, on YouTube, and I went play-by-play -play to explain what what, what happened. And, and there's about 10 people that one have have sufficient cognitive knowledge of the law and sufficient knowledge of the situation to realize why that whole thing was important and, and why it had to happen, and and exactly why it had to happen that way. And, and and exactly appreciate the fact that um you know hey um this world is ending one way or the other um most people aren't aware that you know on 31111 you know there's that number everybody's freaking out about 1111 the four ones <gasps> you know what's that mean oh well 311 2011 um there was a tsunami um, that was the point where mankind, uh, completely irresponsible, created a problem um, y y that they, they couldn't handle, and I call that Fukushima. And right now, y you have a situation where, one, irresponsible people uh, lack the capacity to control, you know, that, you know, ultimate power, not ultimate, but that, that significant power, um, you know, safely. Uh, and I'll be damned if the if these same irresponsible people are going to find a solution to it. Okay, so right now we, what we've got is an ex, a real slow churning extinction level event. Okay, it, it's going to affect every aspect of this planet. And in fact, there there will be a time where I don't believe people can safely exist on this planet unless there is some sort of technology applied that actually eliminates the radiation and guess what I have no expectation that those goofballs are going to figure that out now there may be some off-world entities that have that kind of information but I tell you what they have no business giving it to mankind until mankind knows how to demonstrate the kind of responsibility to again receive a complex uh, uh, technology. I said, you, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, it's like handing a razor blade to a two-year-old kid. Y you know, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only good things will come from that, huh? Yeah, you know. And, and that's what nuclear power was to mankind. I mean, it was a razor blade to a two-year-old kid. And what did we expect was going to happen? You know. So, so now you've got uh, oh, unmeasured immense amounts of radiation being poured into the Pacific Ocean and the effect has been devastating and they've been dancing around what's going on in the Pacific Ocean what all the die-offs are about and and you know of course they're not going to admit that hey you know hey we blew it you know we're dumbasses and you know we've got to uh, you know we've got to rethink our entire process but you know here's the thing you know uh, there's no solution here and and hey look folks don't think for one second that, that those guys at NASA are going to come up with any kind of situation or any kind of solution that's going to, you know, take us all off this rock. And if they do, guess what? 
you're probably not going to be one of the people that go, okay, even if they are able to do that, okay? Because, you know, quite frankly, uh, in, 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 unless you're a habitual criminal, thief, liar, and murderer, uh, they're really not interested. I mean, you know, th these are aspects of, I mean, uh, you have to be in that perpetual state of criminality to even be a be a rewarded member, you know, you know, of high status in, in, in this weird society. You know, what kind of life? That's not life. That's the kind of life you want to live. I mean, look around. I mean, you, you've got Catholic priests out there saying that, hey, you know, the age of consent for you know having carnal knowledge of a child is seven. You know, that's a total misunderstanding of what consent means. It's a total perversion of the law. That's a complete lack of leadership on their part. You know, I mean, you ask anybody who's been abused, sexually abused as a child. I mean, it messes you up the whole rest of your life. I don't care how wonderful and nice and kind, you know, who, who that man or woman was that was molesting the child. I mean, it creates an entire uh, confusion throughout the life. Because guess what? I mean, you're a confused little kid. And, and, and you know, you, you're a little kid that knows nothing about the law, knows nothing about consent, yet this this weirdo is is groping you and, and, and doing weird things to you. You know, for his own, you know, for his own, you know, satisfying his own, you know, sexual needs. There's no sexual need there. That's not proper stewardship of the children. That's certainly, certainly not anything a responsible man would suggest. To say nothing of somebody who purports themselves to be clergy. But that's, that is shameful and irresponsible. To suggest that, oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're going to go and molest little children. Okay, so you're on a rock that's getting more and more radioactive. Uh, the environment and the food webs are being destroyed. Right? Hell is closing in on you. You know, and there's going to be no escape until, you know, you know, well, what's this about? And you know, this is crucible. That's what this is. We came here to learn the law. We came here to enjoy divine grace and protection. And we're going to do it or we're going to be beaten until we do. And some of you are, aren't going to get it and you're going to be ushered out of the simulation. As examples to the ones that remain on why it's so important that we figure this simple kindergarten lesson out. Concept of responsibility and accountability is so important. And we have massive distractions. We have all these institutions that attempt to uh, do the opposite, such that you are going to transfer your accountability and responsibility to either uh, some invisible bad evil guy who's responsible for all bad things that happen. That's transference. Okay, You're responsible for what you do not this evil bad guy. And you suffer the consequences for that which you do. That's strict accountability. Yeah. The situation that you're in is because you're not paying attention and you're not responsible. Now, whether you're transferring it to that evil black man, or that, sorry about that folks, I mean, that evil, uh, 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 you know, that evil, you know, dark lord, uh, you know, Invisible, you know. Of course, you know you're. Of course, you're okay. I mean, you know, you you haven't done anything. You know, you're you're good. That devil guy, he he made you do it, All right? And then look on the other side of it. You know, from the from the perspective of finance, right? Oh no 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 no. But look at that whole idea of a corporation. The fact that oh, you can enjoy you know uh, personal gain without any kind of personal liability. You know, what's that? Oh, I'm just you're transferring your your responsibility and your accountability. Oh, to some fictional colorable law, you know, construct. Oh, no, no, I'm I'm blameless here. I mean, you know, it was that person that that corporate person that did all of that. No, 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 I'm blameless here. You know, there's no accountability. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. There's accountability. 
That's why our lives suck. Some of you are in constant pain. Why? <laughs> you don't realize that your actions, you know, whether, whether you realize what you're doing is actually hurting you or not, you're causing it. It's not bad people out there. It's not insane people out there. They just do what they do. Whether or not you're exposed to what it is that they do, now that's a different question. There's responsibility. There's accountability. You know, it's not bad people that are doing it to you. You have to ask yourself, well, why, why, are these bad, why do these bad people have that power to do that to me? Well, you got to ask the question, wait a minute, why is that asshole in my environment? Why is he able to do that to me? Why? Why am I in that position? Now, that's the question. You're responsible for what you do. You're responsible for everything that's done to you. And you got to understand why. You figure that out. Then you come to talk to me and I'll show you how. I'll show you how to use the contract law to enjoy divine grace and protection. And understand why you're here. Who you are. And then, you know, then quite possibly there's that happily ever after thing that you're going to find and you know hey you know maybe that's maybe that's this for me okay but really i i, I don't mind talking to you on the phone and i don't mind messaging you i mean you, i'll talk to you anytime but look folks that's that's not how you get this stuff uh, you want to visit me come on down come on down visit me you know I'll, on the screen here, I'll, here's my GPS coordinates. You know, come on down. Uh, any of you uh, other people out there think that uh, you want to pop a cruise missile over there at those coordinates, and you just go ahead and see if you can do that. Predator drone, Hellfire missile. You know, hey, you know, do what you want. You 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 think that you know what I'm causing is is such a big problem. Hey, man, you know, come on down. You know, whatever you want to do. You, know, you want to learn the law, enjoy the Holy Grail, you come on down too, and I'll show you that whole ha hap uh, happily ever after thing. Me, I'm, I got the happily ever after thing, you know, I, and, you know, I wanted everybody else to have the ha happily ever after thing. I was given the tools, and, you know, of course, yeah, I, I, I was actually doing more than I really needed to, and, and it was a lot of work, and, and I, I really need to start uh, applying that energy in, into what I'm good at. I can I can show you how to use that law that to to enjoy divine grace and protection. And you know, looking around at the world right now, we need that kind of divine grace and protection. We need to understand who we are. We need to know why we're here. And we need to really just figure out, wait a minute, what is what is it really that we should be doing and what is it that we really shouldn't be doing? Um I, I see a lot of confusion out there. I, I see a lot of people teaching confusion uh, and, uh, under the guise that, oh, oh this, is, this is correct, equitable, and, and, and this is the way you should be. You should be kind. You should be nice. Um, don't judge people, uh, you know, and, and, and if they want to identify themselves, I, I heard something the other day, uh, you know, people who, you know, want to, you know, there, there are people who want, who are men and women that want to identify themselves as something else. Uh, and he, he made a reference and he said, well, you know, uh, if somebody come out there and said, well, hey, you know, from now on today, I truly feel with all my being that I'm a potted plant. And that's how you're going to take me. You know, and he says, uh, you know, what you are is not a pot of plant. What you are is delusional. Um, so, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that are truly uncomfortable with their experience. They truly gravitate. They think that 
you know, by, you know, by identifying as a different gender, that that's somehow going to bring them happiness. Uh, there are people that think that by winning the lottery, that it's going to bring them happiness, um, that uh, by finding Mrs. Wright or Mr. Wright or, or getting some, you know, uh, or, or, you know, being able to abuse children and freely or, or commit as many, you know, crimes uh, as they want or infringe on as many rights as they want, that that's some Somehow, that's somehow going to fill that empty hole inside them and actually give them w w what they need, uh, make them happy. Um, I'll tell you, uh, if you're ignorant of the law, if you're ignorant of the law and you're irresponsible, <laughs> that good feeling that you're feeling or think you're feeling, that's not happiness. And in fact, I'll, I'll, I, I think most people uh, don't even know happiness. Um, they feel happy. Uh, they aren't happy. And that feeling is uh, a counterfeit. Oh, you feel good, but you are not happy. Happiness is something else. Happiness is something that originates inside your being. It cannot be attained through the acquisition of anything external. It percolates and emanates from within you. You, know, you don't work towards happiness. You be happy. Be happy. Or be unhappy, if that makes you happy. You know? So, I mean, and, and without a knowledge of the law and without responsibility, somebody else is responsible for you. <laughs> you are a slave. And in this current paradigm, being that slave... Uh, you are going to enjoy your enslavement or they're going to beat you until you do. And what's coming right now is they're just going to ratchet up the pressure. And um, quite frankly, some of you guys aren't going to make it. It's okay. It's all right. You know, you're taking one for the team uh, and you're providing the proper example for the others that are left behind. So your life has value. Your futility, uh, the pointlessness of your existence uh, is necessary, it's valuable, and it's important. You won't be forgotten, and you won't be lost. I appreciate your sacrifice. Others will too. But you won't, you won't enjoy what I enjoy while you're here. You know, some of you won't do it. So I'm, you know, I'm going to change my whole uh, my whole process I'm going to change the way I do things and uh, and hopefully I'll have more success and hopefully uh, things will break for me in a way where you know maybe I can gain some weight you know that'd be good you know you know there, there's a few things that, I, that that would really actually be nice um, actually having tools and resources I mean you know I'm fairly innovative you know but what I got is sticks and rocks Sticks, rocks, and wire. I mean, that only gets you so far. Um, you know, CNC, <laughs> laser engraver, plasma cutter. Oh, man. I could definitely generate useful things with that. But these are resources that I have never had access to. You know, and it, it's not that I lack the capacity. But, you know, quite frankly... I'm not going to sell my soul to the devil. I am not going to abuse other people, hurt other people, ever. Um, just so that, you know, I can have stuff. Either that stuff is, is granted as a function of who I am and, and why I'm here and, and, and how I comport myself. Or apparently I don't need it. You know? So uh, the door to this, uh, the door to this thing is is closing, folks, um, and, it, and it's getting awfully stupid. Um, but it's basically that uh, we're irresponsible. We don't even know what responsibility is. Uh, we are insane. And we don't know what insanity is. You know, you know, honestly, we came here to to gain the knowledge of good and evil. We really didn't think we were going to do that with uh, without being actually exposed to evil, you know. 
it's you, you can't appreciate sanity you can't be sane without without ever being exposed to insanity how do you know the difference well you have to be insane for a little while you have to be con confused you know hey you know we came here to blow it you know we came here to blow it and experience what it is not to have justice not to have peace not to have happiness to be unloved such that when those gifts are given to us we know how to appreciate those gifts properly and that's not us right now so uh, <laughs> You don't know what justice is. You, you you can't enjoy justice if you don't have a uh, if you don't if you're responsible and don't have knowledge of the law. I'm sorry, you, you, there's no justice for you because you don't know what it is. So I just thought you guys would want to know where I'm at with this. I mean, you know, hey, <clears throat> people aren't beating uh, beating a path to my door, but you know. If you want to, if you want the Holy Grail Law, the best way to do it is to be here. Uh, it's not to say that if you if you can't make it here, that I won't help you in some way. Uh, it'll be quite beneficial. I'm not going to be able to teach you the law over the phone, but I can probably help you apply the law over the phone um, and 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 deal with those elements of your personal experience uh, that you need help with. Because, you know, it's just usually what happens is, you know, somebody has a law and they can't, it's just one little key that they're missing. And it, and it's nothing really important. It's just this little nuanced thing. And I, and I can do that over the phone. And I can, can do that in text. But, but teaching people the law, why it's important and, 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 you know, showing people how, how responsibility is, is useful in the, in, in their experience that's nothing I can do remotely, uh, and I'm not gonna. Uh, I, I'm just not gonna try. Uh, I mean, you know, if you want to poke around the videos or the website and stuff like that. I mean, I've, I've, I've. There's a lot of people out there that believe them that that I am their enemy, and you know, I'm not their enemy. Um, you know, they probably don't really understand. You know what my process is, um, and and why why I am. You know what I'm doing, but. You know, quite frankly, you know, it's not that I haven't tried their system. I have tried their system. In fact, I was uh, I was one of these people that really tried to, to abide, you know, the principles and statutes and regulations within their system. And I, I, I couldn't because it's designed such that one fails in doing so. And if you don't believe me, try it. See if you can obey their statutes you will fail every time because you're it's designed such that you fail that's what provides the pressure for you to seek remedy and recourse right you know and and and, and as far as due process of law that system does not provide due process of law uh, agents of that system at a very high level a number of times have actually including federal district court judges including high-level uh, ranking members of the US Treasury uh, the US Secret Service the uh, agents of the Federal uh, Bureau of Investigation uh, the US Marshal Service these guys have all confirmed to me directly and personally that citizens of the United States or persons as 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 they define them not as you think they are but as they define them do not enjoy due process of law do not enjoy remedy and recourse to the law and the system does not provide that and if you think it does then they're going to beat you that's why your life sucks right and, and and look folks there is no reason for you to freak out and hurt people around you none You know, path to happiness and freedom require does not require an AK-47, does not require an AR-15, doesn't require you to engage in any kind of violence. It doesn't require you to infringe on anybody's rights. Not a single one. And your protection and your safety is not contingent or dependent on another man and woman or object 
or material energy or force in this universe. It is strictly independent. It is all-powerful and flawless in execution. I'm Roach, and um, maybe we'll speak again. Take care.